With uh, rapid growth um, also comes uh, rapid adaptation. Um, is there um, something that you've noticed in terms of maybe uh, working methodologies or tech culture where you can say, I, can't, I see these companies are su more successful than others? I mean, that's an interesting question. Maybe if you want to talk about culture, um, obviously the, the biggest hot topic is hybrid, offline, remote working, etc. So, this was, uh, I mean, most of the companies anyway I had hybrid modes. Most of the tech companies are objective-based anyway, so they're not really driven by having people in the office. They were, they were benefiting from that because apparently a lot of the good talent that existed in, lar in the large corporates who suffered, let's say, in this transition and then tried to push back again uh, against the, let's say, remote working culture, suddenly this talent is available and this talent is willing to solely for this reason start working for a startup rather than continue on their whatever trajectory they had so again i would say this is the main cultural shift that you have seen and we again i think it was a, for the most part positive um, another one is obviously again the, the complete let's say um, absorption or you may call it acceptance now so there is a complete acceptance of um, online payments, there's a complete acceptance of having a full end-to-end -end online process even when it comes to buying your own groceries. And this is on a transactional nature, but it goes as big as governmental paperwork, documentation, etc., etc. So this, this is actually a cultural shift, not just by the consumer, but also for the service providers, including governments who weren't, let's say, taking this, uh, this very seriously. So uh, both cultural shifts in the type of service and also in the type of work, I think they, are, they have been positive ones and they carry a lot of opportunity with them.